In the second video over applications of exponential growth and decay, we're going to kind of do the process we did in the previous video, but we're going to extend it slightly, so this should be a short one. This says, suppose 800 grams of a radioactive substance are present initially, and three years later, only 200 remain. So first it says determine an exponential function that models the situation. So let's do that first. Okay, in our previous video, we established that our value at any given time is given by the initial value times e to the kt. So in this case, it says initially there are 800 grams of a radioactive substance. That's our y naught. That's our initial value. We're multiplying it times e, and then k is what we're trying to figure out, and t is our time, which in this case is 3, because they say 3 years later. After those 3 years, it says 200 remain. So once I figure out this value, it's going to result in 200. And so we've kind of filled in everything from the problem into our everything from the problem into our little equation. And so now that we have this, we can solve for k. So I'm going to start by dividing by 800 on each side. And it's going to be 0.25 equals e to the k times 3. And I'm going to copy up here what we have. I don't have a ton of room here, so 0.25 equals e to the k times 3. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve this for k by taking the natural log of each side. Anything I do to the right side, i got to do the left side. And that allows me to do a couple of things. It allows me to take this exponent and make it a coefficient. So we have 3k times the natural log of e equals the natural log of 0.25. But these right here are inverses, so they undo each other. And so we have the natural log of 0.25 equals 3k, or k equals the natural log of 0.25 all divided by 3. Okay. Now, what I do with that is I'm just going to come up here now, and I'm going to punch that into my calculator to figure out what k is. So that's negative 0.462 if I round to the nearest thousand. That's our growth constant. Since it's negative, we know we're decreasing. We went down from 800 to 200. So I like that. Now, let's actually write our equation, and then we'll use our equation for part b. So we have that y equals y naught e to the kt. And so our value, our, um, our grams of that substance is going to be equal to the initial number of grams, which is 800, times e and then that's raised to the power of negative 0.462, which is the constant we just found, times t. And so we have our function. Now why that's important is I can come down here to part b. It says, how much of the substance will be present after six years? So if I take my function e to the negative 0.462 times t, but now we're given our t value. Our t value is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 6 and I'm just going to substitute it in for t right here. And then all this really is is a button pushing contest. So I'm just going to go to my calculator. I'm going to type this whole thing into my calculator and let's see what we get. And it looks like the amount of that substance that's left, and I'm, I need to put my little squiggly so I'm going to be rounding, it's going to be 50 point, um, zero, two, nine grams. So this is just a slight extension from the previous problems in that we, yes, followed that same structure to get our equation, but then once we have that equation, we can use that equation to answer other questions.